Hi, my name is Doug Davis, and I want to welcome you to our show, Water Talk. And Water Talk is sponsored by Ecolo Blue. And we have a very special guest with us today, the actual uh, co-founder and co-president of the company, Ecolo Blue, Mr. Wayne Ferreira. Wayne, how you doing? Good, Doug. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you for uh, not just being a part of the show, but sponsoring the show. Uh, it's great that we can get this uh, uh, news out to the public. We want to get the news out about the technology of the, machin of the machinery that is manufactured by Ecolo Blue. And uh, what we do is, uh, at Ecolo Blue is we make water from air. And before we get to that, I just want to get into a little bit of the background of our, our co-founder and, and uh, president and owner of the company. Uh, Wayne, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Well, I originally born in South Africa. Um, I grew up there most of my life. Uh, I've been living in the States for probably about 13 years. Traveled uh, around the world a lot, spent a lot of time, spent about 12 years living in Paris while I was a professional on the ATP tour, uh, playing tennis and traveling around. I, I lived in Paris for 12 years, so kind of been all over the place. So what brought you to America? I met a woman. You met a woman. <laughs> it generally happens. And, uh, That'll do it. Luckily for me, she brought me to a nice part of the world, actually. I've uh, enjoyed my time living up in the Bay Area. I've been there for about 12 years, and uh, very lucky to have found a person from a nice place. Right. That's, that's great. Um, Wayne, I, 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 if I understand correctly, uh, you won a medal in the Olympics in the 1992 Olympics. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. I mean, so I was a professional tennis player for about 14 years uh, through the 90s. And uh, I played, uh, luckily went to three Olympics for South Africa, played, won a silver medal in the Barcelona Olympics in 92, which for South Africa was quite an important thing because we had just been allowed back in from apartheid. And it was our first Olympics oh. in 32 years and our first medal. So wow. it was quite a big occasion for me and for our country. That's amazing. Congratulations yeah, on thank that. You. Yeah. Uh, are you still playing tennis? Nope, don't have time. I'm uh, making water <laughs> is my new job. I'm spending enough time doing this and uh, in enjoying this it's a it's a different different part of my life water from air uh, Wayne everyone involved here is really grateful for you uh, sponsoring the show and and uh, can you tell us uh, we got your story now give us the cola blue story well I mean I started uh, the company with my uh, business partner Henry James Tillerman about uh, oh, a 2007 and um, what happened was about 15 years ago, I, I came across the concept of making water out of the air. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was very valuable. I also, traveling around the tour, the tennis tour, I saw a lot of waste of water by the players, by consumers, by everybody. And I mm -hmm. and, uh, had this technology in my mind for a really long time. I, um, I looked into it while I was playing tennis to, to open up a non-profit. Uh, at that stage, I was quite uh, high profile in South Africa. I knew a lot of people. Um, got involved with a machine that I took down to South Africa to to show to the government, and unfortunately, didn't the machine didn't work so well, and I was busy with tennis, so took a hiatus on it. Um, and then when I retired in in 2004, I uh, spent time thinking about what I wanted to do. Always had this in my mind, and uh, decided to to look into doing it. Uh, it was a bit of a scary thought for me coming out of tennis my whole life, moving into business, something that I knew had huge potential to be a, a great company. So I uh, got involved with Henry and we, we looked together to do this uh, project together and, and decided to form this company. Well, I'm really glad that you did. The world uh, is definitely in need of this technology. Uh, Tell us a little bit about that. Tell us about the technology of these machines. I mean, making water from air is just... Uh, uh, even though I'm involved with it, it's, it's still amazing to me that, uh, that we can even do this. But go ahead and explain that. Well, yeah, it's an interesting ride, actually, because when we started the company and we did a lot of research on this technology, and this technology is a very, very old technology. Dehumidification has been around since the 60s, 70s. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very, very old and very simple. Mm -hmm. And I was always a little concerned when I started the company about the two ideas was, this, does this technology work? or has nobody seen and, and realized what this technology is and I was a little bit scared at the beginning because it was so simple thinking that you know other people had done this and, and it just didn't work mm -hmm. and uh, today you know seven years later um, I realized that just nobody has really grasped the concept of making water out of the air as simple as it is um, there's been companies who have tried to do it but haven't been able to make the machines efficient um, cost-effective 
uh, energy effective, you know, all of those kinds of things and stuff. And I'm realizing that this is a new, great new technology that is very, very new in its infancy mm -hmm. from an understanding standpoint. And, uh, you know, that's the difficulties of this company is the awareness around this technology, but uh, it's a great technology. Well, I guess what I'm wondering is, uh, wh where do you see Cola Blue going in the future? Well, we've, we've changed our focus um, a little bit over the years. We started basically just in the U.S. Uh, targeting the uh, single-family homes, mm -hmm. um, looking for groups like the survivors, self-sufficients, eco-moms, uh, you know, green-friendly people, and, uh, and, and spent a lot of time with that, and we've realized that this product is more suited and more needed in large scale, large industrial scale. We've been focusing our attention the last year and a half uh, outside of the U.S., worldwide, even some in the U.S. on the agricultural side, mm -hmm. and we're, we're seeing that there's a huge lack of drinking water, or water just in general, in countries around the world. And, uh, you know, there are some technologies like uh, desalinization or even fog uh, harvesting, which, which are available, but, uh, you know, desal is very expensive, um, and uh, it's just not really doing the job well enough. And this technology, being small and large, is suited for everybody. Okay. For those who are not familiar with desalin desalinization, can you explain that very Well, quickly? desalinization is basically taking water out of the ocean and, uh, and taking out the salt and making it drinkable. So it's, it's like, uh, in a way, just using salt water. And mm -hmm. um, it's very expensive to build uh, facilities. It's very uh, energy intensive. And you, and you obviously have to be on water. So right. uh, it's using water. You know, the thing about our technology, which makes it so fantastic, is it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can make your own water. Mm -hmm. Everybody is using up the, the water resources that are available, which are diminishing very, very quickly. Uh, with this technology, it's, a, it's in an open source of water that is available for anyone to use no matter where you are. This technology from Ecola Blue? Correct, you know, and I mean, you know, obviously it's taking humidity from the air. Uh, the l higher the humidity, the faster the machine makes water, but uh, the machine is designed to be able to make water in pretty much any climate available, sometimes slower than humid climates, but uh, the technology of making water out of the air uh, is, a, is a great, uh, you know, source of, of water for people. Mm -hmm. I feel like you had a picture up there about the, uh, the other uh, applications, or the other things coming uh, in the future. Can you discuss uh, just other ideas that Ecola Blue has and some of the directions that we're looking to go with the coffee? And yeah, well, I mean, on the home office unit, which is the mach a small unit that we, that we make, it's designed for the, the home and office, obviously, okay. and uh, it uh, you know, up, makes up to about eight gallons of water a day. Um, it's designed for the, you know, the, the, the home families. And, and what we've decided to do is to try and make applications around uh, the, the process of water out of the air. We have patents for the sparkling water, which can mm -hmm. make carbonated water. We have patents for uh, coffee out of the air and ice cubes. And you know, the ice cubes was always a, people always say, oh, I have this great machine that makes such beautiful water, but when I put an ice cube in it, I ruin the quality of the water with an ice cube. Well, the water, the ice, the, the ice cube was made from, from probably the, tap water, from which is probably chlorinated. Correct. And so now, yeah, it's going to alter the flavor of the drink that they're putting Correct. it in. So we need to have a full source that if somebody wants pure water, they get it from water and ice. So we've designed a bunch of applications around the home office units, um, so that gives people different options. I mean, some people want carbonated, some will want coffee, and some will want the ice cubes. And uh, we're trying to create um, products that would be suitable for everybody. That's great. Water from air, ice from air, uh, you no, no longer have to worry about uh, changing the, the flavor or the taste uh, of whatever it is that you're drinking. Uh, there's so many applications uh, for this technology, and uh, we'll get into that also uh, probably after the, the commercial break that's going to be coming up soon. But um, I, I want to know, in, in, with that in perspective, I mean, we're not just talking about the home and office, right? Um, what other applications can, can you uh, see this technology being used for? Well, we've been involved with a bunch of different, and when you talked about lots of applications, it's been difficult for us to really pinpoint the right ones to start off with because there's so many places for this technology to go. We've been uh, focusing a lot of our attention recently on the uh, emergency preparedness 
mm -hmm. uh, working uh, with, with groups that are in that. Uh, we've been spending time with the National Guard trying to find applications for them, also from emergency prepared, preparedness as well as for uh, a, a way of providing water to their soldiers. So the large industrial um, is, a, is a great application because it varies in size, it's movable, uh, you, can, you can have an infinite source of water wherever you are. Um, so it's, it's a well suited, especially for the emergency preparedness to have people ready. You know, we've, we've had a, sometimes when Katrina happened or when, when the disaster happened in Haiti, people call us and uh, we were in you know early stages of our company didn't have a lot of inventory at that stage and we gave whatever we could but you know having these available sitting ready for a disaster like that because that's the biggest issue when you have a natural disaster is the first and, and biggest is the water getting the water there the cost of getting the water there running out of water and if you had machines like this available, you would never have a problem with that. And when it comes to disasters like that, I mean, people don't realize that it's not just the disaster that takes human life, but the dehydration that comes after the fact. Uh, thousands of people passed away uh, from Hurricane Katrina. This could have saved thousands of lives had this technology been in place right. uh, for that type of situation. So. We're going to be going to uh, a commercial break uh, shortly. When we come back, we want to discuss uh, more about what the solutions are uh, for this technology, the solutions that, that, uh, that we can provide, and also get into some more details about the various products that are offered by Colo Blue, what the capabilities are, the capacity of the water usage or the water generation, uh, and we'll be looking to do that shortly, right after these messages. Thank you. Welcome back to Water Talk, sponsored by Colo Blue. I'm here today with Wayne Ferreira, the co-founder and co-owner, co-president of the company. And uh, behind me is one of our home units. It's the EB30, Colo Blue 30. And Wayne, what does the 30 stand for? Well, the 30 is actually based on uh, liters. Uh, I know it's a non-American thing for, <laughs> for people to, to grasp on, but uh, we, we designed the machines around liters. Uh, and this machine is the EB30, which is, uh, can make up to 30 liters of water a day uh, based on humidity, 70% humidity. Uh, it will make 30 liters, which is about 8 gallons of water a day. About 8 gallons. And, and uh, gosh, you know, when we think about the uh, water coming out of the tap, uh, you know, there could be hundreds, there could be thousands of particles in the water, uh, parts per million on that. And uh, with this water, we typically run under how many parts per million? Uh, generally, we're about 35 parts per million, uh, which is very, very good. Uh, that's lower. That's lower than bottled water, right? It's much lower. Yes. I mean, the machines, the the, the water out of the air, all the content out of the air is fairly clean to to, to start off with. Mm -hmm. The filtration system that we have in this machine is uh, is very elaborate. It's uh, some maybe a little bit of an overkill, and to a certain degree because of the quality of the air. But uh, the machine is also designed as a hybrid to filter water so you can attach it to municipal water or brackish, brownish, or all different kinds of water sources. But the so idea... So if I had this in my house, I could bring water just instead of going uh, through the tap, I could bring it right into the machine. Correct. I mean, we have a way to connect the municipal water to the back of the machine to use as a filtration system as well. The machine, machine obviously makes a certain amount of water a day depending on the humidity. And if you want or need more water quickly, you can attach it to municipal water to get as much as you want. So it's designed for that too. So the, the filtration system is based around that because that water is generally worse than air, uh, water out of the air. But uh, the content of it coming out is, uh, is neutral. It's extremely clean. Uh, the, you know, the testings that we've done in all different countries around the world all come back the same. Uh, very, very clean and very, very good. So would you compare that to distilled water? You, you can, I mean the content is zero, like distilled water, but you can't classify distilled because distilled has to be boiled. So uh, it is neutral like that, it has no content. We have a mineral filter that we have standard in the machine that uh, is there to replace the, the water with minerals, different kinds of minerals that the body supposedly need its needs through the day. So it has its nutrient value back in the water, but to just making it out of the air, it's, it's neutral. So it's not just clean, pure water, it's also healthy water. 
Correct. I mean, we do put the, the correct minerals back into the water to give you what is uh, designed or needed by the body. Uh, you know, it's obviously an open discussion about what it is that you really need or don't need, but the mineral filter is based around replenishing water with minerals. And you mentioned earlier, not just for the home and office, but there are uh, products that Ecola Blue has for other applications. Uh, can you show that, uh, that Bill? So we have uh, a picture here showing uh, there's industrial uh, uses, and that's right, that's right after the quality water. There you go. Yeah, we, I mean, we have the different sized uh, industrial units, uh, obviously based in liters again. We have a two, 250 liter machine, 550 liter, 1,000, 3,006, which is 50 gallons up to about 1,250 gallons of water a day. We're also in the process of building what we call our ACE container, which is a container, uh, and, in, and designed in the container is a, uh, a water machine generating water with a diesel generator and a bottling, uh, full bottling line, so that uh, uh, it can be deployed anywhere and you can actually make water out of the air and bottle it and give it to people. So it's wow. designed for emergency preparedness. So any kind of disaster, having to worry about having water available, pure drinking, healthy drinking water available can no longer be an issue. Correct. We, can, we, we have yeah. a solution for that. Yeah, I mean, you know, getting the machine and, and having it in a place where there's a disaster is one thing, but also, you know, supplying it to the, to the people now. The machine does have faucets that you can take the water out of, but we, f we thought it would be great to have a full solution of having uh, a bottling system whereby you can make the water and bottle it on site. And this is designed, this particular uh, system is designed for um, military. Um, so on the military uh, applications, you mentioned talking with the National Guard. Uh, I mean, gosh, it, it, until you start <laughs> thinking about these types of solutions, it, it never really enters the mind uh, on just how valuable this technology can be. Well, the, the biggest problem that we face with this technology is nobody really knows about it. That's been right. the hard part. The hard part is the awareness. And even though everybody knows a dehumidifier, as soon as you say dehumidifier, like, oh, yes, I know exactly. The concept is similar. I mean, a dehumidifier is taking the humidity out of the air, mm -hmm. but it's trying to produce as little water as possible. Ours is the opposite. It's, pr it's producing the most amount of water out of the least amount of humidity. So even though the technology is fairly similar, it's the opposite. But people grasp the idea of a dehumidifier, mm -hmm. but nobody under has understood it in, in actually uh, well making let's, water Let's to walk drink. through the process, if you can explain that uh, for the audience. And, and we're hoping, uh, and we want to thank our viewers uh, here enjoying the show, and continue watching the show, and, and please continue sharing uh, information about the show to your friends, your family, your relatives, your coworkers, just everybody you know. Uh, we're gonna be here every Saturday at this time from three to four. So please, uh, you know, have people help people to tune into this and become aware uh, that we do have a solution for water needs. But Wayne, go ahead and, and explain the process for us. Well, the first the process, obviously, if you see the air uh, is taking the humidity out of the air, it goes through the condenser. The mm -hmm. condenser then uh, takes the water, drops it into a first holding tank. From the first holding tank, it then goes through the filtration process. We have uh, two pre-carbon filters. It then goes through a reverse osmosis filter and then through the mineral filter, which is uh, the one that puts the nutrients back into the water. And then finally we have a post-carbon, and that's just to take out excess mineral and uh, if there's anything, any particles that are left. The water from there goes up into the top holding tank, and uh, well actually through the first goes through the hot tank, and then into the cold tank. And you have an option for hot water as well as cold water or you have an option for just uh, room temperature water. So if you don't want the hot water, you can switch the function off so that the machine will just produce, like for now. Bill, can you zoom in on that? If on you have a look at the machine, we're, we're at uh, 84 degrees, so the hot water function is not on with this particular machine. It's at room temperature. It's mm -hmm. pretty warm in here. <laughs> but, but we can control this to go up to 203 degrees. Oh, yes, so 199 degrees uh, okay. is, is the level that we have for the hot function on the cold function, which is on, we're at 39 degrees Fahrenheit. So the water, the water on the hot side would be enough for you to be able to have coffee, um, soup, anything right. anything that's, uh, that you would like from the hot standpoint. Your favorite tea? Anything you want. So it's mm -hmm. designed that it's, it's uh, hot enough to be able to, to have what you need. And let's and show people how it, how it does uh, dispense there. Yep. It's a nice so touch, touch screen. So from the cold side, it's at 39 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, uh, 
very very cold I mean it's cold enough and uh, if you can bump it up a little bit depending on what kind of level you want uh, your, your cold temperature to be or you can with with or like the hot you can switch the function off for the cold and you can have room temperature and what's this what's yours. this what's this uh, here with the with the yeah, the so, the, so the machine is designed as a, a little bit of a child lock so that we don't have any uh, burning issues with kids who come and play with the screen. So how to get the hot water out of the machine, you have to hold the lock button down until you hear that beep and only then can you dispense the hot water out of the machine. Otherwise, uh, you cannot dispense the hot, and that's just to save the kids. I think that's very important because I, mean, I remember when my, my daughters, Kimberly and Ashley, were, were uh, young, and you know, just most kids, they want to go touch things. I mean, this kind of looks like a video game up there, so yeah, we, well don't right wanna, we don't want people to worry about Right that. now, you can see that the flashing is now off, so if I hold the hot button down, the water, the water won't be able to come out. So right. it's designed for that reason. Yeah. Now, what are these lights here? These UV one, two, three. So also in the machine, we we have three UV lights. Uh, we have a UV light in the bottom holding tank. We have a UV light in the top holding tank, and one which we call our inline bulb. And um, the the bottom tank, when the water's in there, it will clean. It comes on periodically, every hour, maybe a couple of minutes. The top holding tank is the same. The inline one is every time you push the cold button to dispense the water, the UV light will go on. And this is just to kill, if there is any bacteria that is sitting in the machines, it kills the bacteria. So, so I, I know that the machine's running, I know it's generating water, I go to bed at night, the water's going to be sitting in there. That might, under normal circumstances, give an opportunity for some bacteria to start growing or whatever, but Right. We don't have to worry about that with this. Right, and the, um, the machine is also designed, it has a reflux in it, and a reflux system is, is that uh, periodically it will run the water through the system again and keep it moving. It's very important with water, and everybody will know. Everybody knows this, that uh, you've got to keep it running. If you have water sitting there for a very long time, uh, it creates bacteria or it gets uh, dirty and you can't drink so it. So the Cola Blue products will keep the water circulating and will keep the, uh, and, and keep the water pure, clean, and healthy. Um, if we can just take a look at uh, some of the other uh, app solutions that we do have, and then we'll visit this in another episode. We'll get into more details uh, with regards to the industrial units. If you can show those, Bill. Uh, yes. So you have units here at Cola Blue that will provide water, as you mentioned, up to 66 gallons or, or uh, 250 liters, up to 6,000 liters a day. It's one of our largest. Uh, uh, industrial uh, machines that we have and we have uh, uh, I mean that's almost six you know 1600 gallons a day so other episodes we're going to get into we're going to talk about how we can help farmers how we can help wineries how we can help the medical industry how we can help disasters Wayne I want to thank you so much for coming and being a part of the show a pleasure, and sponsoring the show uh, obvious, uh, obviously but uh, we have a video for you folks to watch please stay tuned over the next couple of minutes uh, before it goes to commercials, to, uh, take a look at this video. Th we hope you come back every Saturday from 3 to 4. We have another guest, Dr. Josen, coming up with some um, uh, very interesting information about what you need to know and be concerned about regarding the water here in Central Valley and, and, and everywhere for that matter. Thank you. The revolution in water resource management is here. Introducing Ecola Blue's atmospheric water generators. Ecola Blue's generators are able to take humidity right out of the atmosphere and turn that humidity into the cleanest drinking water that you can get. Everyday tap water contains thousands of different particles in it. However, Ecola Blue's generators not only filter out many of these particles, but they add minerals to your water to make sure you have the purest drinking water available. Ecola Blue is both economically sound as well as environmentally safe. Why pay outrageous prices for bottled water when you can pay just 20 cents per gallon with Ecola Blue? In addition to saving money, you'll also be saving the environment. Unlike bottled water companies that produce tons of plastic waste that harms our planet, Ecola Blue's products produce little to no waste. With Ecola Blue, you now have more options for the use of your water than ever before. In addition to the hot and cold functions to your generator, you now have the ability to carbonate your water. Enjoy making soda water right in the comfort of your own home. Having a cola blue is now essential when being prepared for any emergency. 
Each day 850 water mains break in North America alone. Add on natural disasters such as droughts, hurricanes and earthquakes, having the ability to be water independent is more important than ever. With Ecolo Blue, you're no longer dependent on traditional sources for water. From our smaller home-sized generators to our industrial-sized generators, Ecolo Blue has a solution for any situation. And now with our new solar panel kits, you can be truly water independent. Assert your water independence. Thousands of businesses and families across America have been enjoying pure drinking water for years thanks to Ecolo Blue. To get more information, visit our website at ecoloblue.com or call us at 1-800-691-6043.